The exception shape produces process execution user alert. In this section, we will examine the exception shape and see the error it creates. The exception shape provides the ability to stop the data flow down a path and to find custom error messages reported in the Manage tab. The exception shapes are used often when the document data fails to meet certain conditions of a route or a decision shape and is not processed further. The exception shape allows for a finer strategic control in your process flow when encountering an error. It will do three things. It terminates the documents in the process flow. It flags the process execution has failed. And it logs custom errors in the process and document logs. These custom error messages are a mix of static and dynamic content. Dynamic content is populated using parameters which can represent values such as data from document fields, the current system date time, the static value, the results of a database query, or a number of other values. You can use multiple parameters when creating a message. The placeholder number corresponds to the order of the parameters defined at the bottom of the dialog. Remember, the process execution is triggered from an exception shape. Now I will demonstrate exercise number 17, the exception shape. This begins in your book on page 60, and it will go to page 69. We will be using the process library to download an example of the exception shape. We need to have a folder to store our exception shape in. At Integration Administrator 1, we will click on the blue dropdown. We will select New Folder. We've created our folder name, Exception Shape Example. We'll click on the Save button. Now we will go to the process library. We will click on the hyperlink at the bottom, Browse Process Library. Instead of sorting by publish date, we will sort by process name. We'll scroll down and we will find where it says Admin 1 Exception Shape Example. We will click on Install. We will need to choose a location. So it will be our Exception Shape Example folder. It will now install it. Once it is done, we will click on View Process. For our exception shape example, we will go into our FTP and click on Configure. And we're going to get the connection that we were using in our Boomi Essentials class. So we're going to come over here. We're going to go into the Connections folder and we're going to select Boomi Training FTP. We now have a decision shape. Let's take a look at that. It's testing to see if our industry is equal to marketing. If the value is equal to marketing, it will continue down our account XML to CSV that we've been using in CLAP. However, if it's not equal to marketing, it will come down this false path and execute an exception shape. So let's take a moment and examine it. The exception shape has a title, Invalid Account. We are not going to click Stop it at a single document. We want to continue each time we process through. So our exception shape message says exception shape, colon, this account. This is our first parameter. It corresponds with the parameter down here, which is our account name, our company name. It has a second parameter, which is our industry, as the industry. Next, we will run the exception shape in test mode to see the error. We get a message that says test execution of admin one exception shape example completed with errors. The embedded message is the process is terminated. Some of the documents reach an exception, which is set to halt. The one that has reached an error is Bacal Corp Corporation, and that is because it has an industry of technology instead of marketing. We now know it works in a test environment. We will deploy it. It is time to package and deploy your process. Your activity guide contains the details 
you need to enter for package components and deploying your process. The video will continue with the step after your process is deployed. Pause the video now to package and deploy your process. I'm going to execute the process manually. I want to make sure that I execute my MM1 exception shape. It has given me an error message telling me that the exception shape was encountered. The account buckle cork has terminology as the industry. I'm going to wait a few moments. It can take um, up to 20 minutes for this to come, depending upon how often your email account is going to be picking up its messages. We will send this out every five minutes, um, but it does take a little bit of time sometime if your email is not picking up the messages. We will see our, our error message in just a moment. This is the email alert. Uh, my Gmail account has received it. This is what it looks like. It says Dell Bumi Adams here alert for Bumi training one. And this is our account process execution error. It gives us the name of the process, the execution ID, where it was, the environment, the classification, when it started and ended, the status, and then the error message. And this is our process terminating. Some of the documents reached an exception, which caused a halt to all documents. The message is exception shape. The account Baco Corp has technology as the industry, and it's a type document. Um, it is an exception, and we have two documents that have been errored, inbound and outbound. So this is an example of what your alert would look like. Now it's your turn to do exercise number 17, the exception shape on pages 60 to 69. When you return, we will be discussing the notify shape.